The history of the Corolla in South Africa is about as important as the history of Toyota in South Africa. 1975, the popular Corolla is added to their passenger car lineup. By 1982, over 100,000 Corollas have been built in South Africa. By 2008, we had so many, we had to start exporting them to Europe. And by 2013, over a million Corollas have rolled off the assembly line and prospected. And that brings us to the latest generation. XR sedan. This latest generation XR sedan is a massive leap forward for the Corolla nameplate here in South Africa. It has a much sportier, sleeker design than its predecessors. This can be seen in things like the bold styling lines down the side of the car, the fitment of 18 inch wheels and this aggressive LED lighting package in the front. The XR looks fast even when it's standing still. So the interior of the XR sedan has also received quite a drastic change. Everything in here really just feels high-end and premium. Your touch surfaces are all this soft squishy material here on the door and the dash. You're getting partial leather, sports seats, this leather trim steering wheel with controls on both sides. One for the adaptive cruise control and one for the 7-inch touchscreen infotainment. You're getting a 7-inch digital dash for the driver. There's just so much in here to appreciate. My favorite has got to be this driving position that you can really only get from a sporty sedan. And sporty it is. The 12th generation Corolla can be had with a two liter naturally aspirated petrol engine. Now this unit puts out 125 kilowatts and 200 Newton meters. That can be mated to a CVT. If you want to go for a lazy Sunday drive, but we have it here made it to a six-speed manual transmission. That, with this direct and sporty suspension, and you're in for one heck of a drive. The difference between the outgoing Corolla model, as you know, is the Quest, and this XR sedan truly is night and day. The same as it has been for all the models before it. This XR sedan should be seen as a premium offering in a market dominated by SUVs. And at 437,900 Rand, in my opinion, is worth every penny. Long live the sedan.